Hello, today we're at J. Hickson Motors. Uh, we're working on a vehicle today which is a Discovery TD5, which is one of Rimmer Brothers uh, vehicles. Um, we're going to change the diesel filter today. Um, a little bit awkward, but very easy to get to. Um, we're going to remove the filter housing here, catch excess fluid obviously in a tray underneath, and then we will be refitting a new one. We're going to carry on now removing the sensor. The small connector at the lower part of the uh, uh, sensor wire here to the water sensor on the filter, disconnected like that, quite easily, small clip. Okay, we're going to now remove the filter, which is only hand tight usually, so we'll remove the filter like that and catch any excess fluid as you can see. So once we've removed part of the excess fluid, we'll carry on removing the filter. quite easy, screw the filter off. Okay, right, catch the filter. Okay, a small seal there which will be on the new filter when we replace it. Okay, with the filter removed now, um, you'll see the water sensor in the lower part of the filter. This actually needs removing, just, just hand tight again. Remove that sensor and that will need replacing on the new filter supplied by Rimmer Brothers. And okay, we're ready to now fit the new filter. We've cleaned the sensor up, which is a, uh, a water content sensor for in the diesel filter. Quite easy. Just, just basically screw that back in again. Just nip it hand tight and we're ready to actually put the filter on. Before we do that though, we like to usually put a primer in there basically of either a, a diesel or a fuel cleaner. We tend to put a, a fuel reconditioning cleaner in here. So basically to put some in there and then obviously screw it back on again, like so. And then screw the filter back on again, ready for priming the vehicle. Now the filter has been fitted, we're actually going to go into a priming routine basically on the vehicle. This needs to be done to bleed the air out of the system. Basically what you do is put the ignition from the off position to position 2 for a minute and leave that and then turn the ignition off again and wait for 30 seconds. Put the ignition back on again to position 2 for another 30 seconds and then and try and start the vehicle with the throttle in the depressed position. If this process doesn't work, then repeat the process all over again.